Your brother said the family is going ziplining today. What is ziplining? It's where you jump down from a high tower, suspended by a thin cable. Uh, I'm too tired. I'm exhausted from my hard day. It's still the morning. What have you done today? I read some news websites on my iPhone. And? I read some technology websites on my iPhone. And? I checked my Facebook page on my iPhone. And this was all before you got out of bed, or even turned on the lights, right? Yes. Have you done anything since getting out of bed? Yes, I had breakfast. Hmm, I bet I can guess what you had for breakfast. I bet you cannot. I am a dynamic and unpredictable man, full of mystery and intrigue. You had oatmeal mixed with cornflakes, soy powder, raisins, and slivered almonds. I mean, I bet you can't guess, exactly, what I had for breakfast. Didn't I just do that? No, you must specify the exact proportions. Well, you got me there. I could probably guess the proportions only to two significant digits. I win. Have you done anything since eating breakfast? Yes, I went kayaking with my brother and nephew. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. How long did you kayak? About 45 minutes. Not bad. But are you totally exhausted from 45 minutes of kayaking? Well, not really. Maybe instead of being tired, you are reluctant to go ziplining due to your fear of heights. I am not afraid of heights. I merely have respect for heights. There's a difference. Just what is the difference between fear and respect? Oh, I think you should ask Aretha Franklin about that. But I'm sure it's respect that I have for heights, and not fear. If you really respect heights, perhaps you'll pay respect to the ziplining tower with the rest of the family. Besides, it's comparatively rare for someone to actually die while ziplining. The number of people who have died ziplining is less than the number of people who died during all the major wars of the 20th century, combined. Does that include the Russo-Japanese War of 1904-1905? to No, I do not consider the Russo-Japanese War to be a major war. Okay, in that case, I guess I can be a good sport and go. That's wonderful, dear. Let's get in the car then. Well, we are here. Say, that tower doesn't look so high. Maybe I'm not afraid after all. Not that I was in the first place, of course. The tower you are looking at is at the bottom. The starting tower is at the top of the mountain, up there. Gulp. Okay, well, let's fill out the forms and get this over with. Say, what's the difference between maim and dismember? Oh, don't worry about it, dear. Probably neither of those things will happen to you. So, you were saying the probability of getting maimed or dismembered is less than 50%? I don't like those odds. Oh well, I'll just sign the document anyway. Good, dear. Now we can put on the harnesses. Should be simple. Well, that was easy. I figured that out with no problem. Me too. No problem at all. Piece of cake. I see that the truck is ready. Let's get in and take the ride to the top. Geez, how far is it? I wonder whether there's meal service on this trip. Here we are. What's this? I didn't know we'd have to climb to the top from the parking area. Are those oxygen bottles? I don't think those medical supplies are for us, dear. They are for use by the emergency crew in case of an incident. Well, we made it to the top. Say, look at those people down there, they look like ants. Those are ants, you dummy. The spectators are far away down at the foot of the mountain. We've made it to the gallows. Only I couldn't see the hangman's rope. Ha, huh? ha, huh? where's the zip line? You can't see it because it's so thin. The gossamer strands lead down Mount Doom, like the web of some sense but unseen spider. But where is the spider's nest? Are we escaping a hideous fate by our desperate dash down the mountain? Or are we hurtling toward an untimely end in the belly of the beast? No one knows but the ancient trees, who
whose sharp and gnarly branches stab out from the forest to within inches of the zip line. That's beautiful, dear. A lovely bit of poetry for my last moment on earth. Do not worry, dear. If I see you about to meet a sad end, I'll slip my bonds and jump after you. That's a nice thought, dear. But there's no way you'd be able to catch me. There's no point in our both dying. We might not die. We might just be maimed or dismembered. We'll soon find out. Here we go. I'm right behind you. Look at me, no hands. Oh, oh. Upside down. We made it. Looks as if we will live to see the last Harry Potter movie after all.